Yeah, let's just go to the edge of the world, I guess, and then, like, make our way up here. Why not? It'll be exciting. Didn't mean to send out my bat. Ooh. Already got a lead. Maybe that's the Regent's Grave. <laughs> what are the chances it would be so close? I wonder how I actually get down here. That's all blocked off. So what is this thing? I love all the star stuff. Looks like this will probably allow me to go down here. Or maybe not. stands out so wonderfully from all the other colors. Dang. It's hard to get back there. Maybe there's a way over that way? Hook around? Nothing to report. Could there be like a tiny little way through here? I don't think so, no. Wow, it's gotta be the other way then. Well, while we're over here, let's just clear this out. I love this new ship. It's beautiful. The Fitzwilliam. Elizabeth aboard the Fitzwilliam. Okay, I'm gonna start to head back. Let's check out this little area here on the way back. Didn't mean to shoot. One of those transit line things. Can I explore it? 
Tankery is buried something something in the mossy walls. Your signal orders double shifts on watch. Oh yeah. We've seen that before. Coming away from the walls. Hidden. Okay, that's pretty well explored. Bag of trader's wood, bought a couple more supplies, and let's head along this edge here, trying to find a way around to get at whatever's back here. I got a better ship. I've got a better weapon. We'll be fine. And yes, it looks like that curves around. That's how I get back there. to hit. Oh, come on. Both missed? Ow. Oh, God. There's another one. Oh, no. Okay, just be patient. Just be patient. Ah, oh, man, their hitboxes are so small. And they just never stop moving. Like, I keep thinking I should just get close to them and use my blunderbuss. That's what it's for, right? But then I'm going to take lots of damage from them being able to shoot me easily. Plus, they have that AoE thing, which I think... I think that does... Yeah, that definitely does damage, but it also increases my terror, too. Oh, there we go. Sixty-two percent chance of oh right, bronze wood. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll take the bronze wood. Again, worth quite a bit of money. Success, got one. And I'm pretty low on money after buying the ship and all the attachments. Send out crewmen. 
Ooh, 39% terror now, and the hull's not doing great, but I'm still in ship state. Shipping state. <laughs> you can ship me, put me up in a box, and send me through the Reach UPS. Actually, would not surprise me if what's back here is the Regent's Grave. It would make sense for it to be fairly close to Trader's Wood. And it's hidden back here in a kind of hard to reach area. Seems an appropriate place for a, a horror. Don't have my mining drill with me anymore. Ooh, a couple of them. Dang. Uh, another Scrivener. Three successes in a row with a 60-something percent chance for each. Pretty good. Pretty lucky. Yeah, so the Scribe Spinster things... Uh... Wait. Shit. This just ends? Oh, no. So this is just a, a place with a lot of them who, like, are made out of bronzewood or have bronzewood stuff with them. And it's like a... I guess a place where they live, and naturally they live in places with lots of bronzewood because they use it. Or they are made of it, or something. Makes sense. It's like a spinster nest. Yeah, I guess there's nothing over there then. Okay. Dang. I just make my way out of here. Do I want to fight another one? Sure. Well, this is an easy fight. Failure. Did we lose somebody? Um, no, no, we're good. It's just that we destroyed our guns, did too much damage, couldn't get any bronze wood. Got 68 sovereigns instead. That hideous strength. This just popped up. Tensions are high and the crew are making mistakes. The preternaturally fertile seeds of the Reach must be stored with the utmost care. A flicker of light, a lap of moisture, and they burst into violent growth. Like the sack in your hold, from which questing vines have groped, nodding around your cargo. Remove the sprouting sack to the galley. You won't save the seeds, but you may increase your supplies. Try to salvage the sack of seeds. 60% chance. Or throw them away. This is what your crew would prefer. Well, seeds aren't worth much. And it sounds like that might reduce terror, so 57%, yes it did. 
52. And we just locked this, lost the sack of verdant seeds, which, again, not worth much. You gather any sack whose seeds show the slightest hint of green or any quiver of life, and spill them into the sky. Your crew are glad to see them go. One tells a story of a captain who acted too slowly, whose locomotive was choked with ferns. Alright, I want to head back in the direction of New Winchester to just kind of regroup, get more fuel, turn on my port reports, things like that. But let's make this a little bit more interesting than just going back the usual way. Let's try to go back this way. So I see like maybe a little opening here, definitely an opening here. It's a pretty good chance these link up. And that way I can get a port report at Port Avon and reduce our terror there a little bit before we go back to New Winchester. They did an, uh, oh, this is the one that where they fire upon me. Return fire or leave swiftly. Mm. Ah, the return fire. Failure. It's no good. The house is practically a fortress and the inhabitants are well armed. When an impeccable shot drops the crewman beside you, you decide to beat a retreat. One crew lost. Shit. Sorry. I don't think I can get there without going all the way back. Let's take a right at this fork. Trader's Wood? What? Isn't that Trader's Wood? I'm confused. This even has the big name as if it's a place to dock. What? That might be a bug. It even gave me the 512 experience, which I think only happens when you find a new port. Yeah, there's definitely no new port out here. It'd be marked on the map. You know, I think that the map has some sort of randomization to it in where the major ports are. Like someone someone in the comments said they were surprised that Titania was up here in the northeast. That was something that they hadn't seen before. I guess it was uncommon. So if the location of these things are randomized at least somewhat, maybe this is a bug. Like, maybe Traders Wood could be here, and for some reason it put the name and the experience and all of that here as if it had actually been put here, but in reality it was put here. Got a port report at Port Avon. Just gave them some juicy gossip as well. Let's get cheap repairs at the engine yard. Oh, wow, that maxed us out. 37 hole for 25 sovereigns. It's a fantastic deal. Um, I do want to go back to the inn and see if we can do anything else with that club. Oh, we can't even go upstairs to that club. Maybe that quest, like, maybe all the stuff we did there will pay off in the future. Maybe? I was hoping I could actually, like, really join the club and get into their private conversations and get some juicy gossip and just mess with them, but... Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, at least not anytime soon. Because after I... Is it after I did that quest where I got like a mysterious benefactor plus one or something? 
which makes me think it's going to do something in the future. Like an opportunity is going to pop up because of it. Someone's going to recognize me. Let's visit the allotments. We've already done all this stuff before, but that gives us an intriguing specimen. Then attend a service at the church. Sure. Gain a sky story. I think this is just randomized, right? I want the eel one. That reduces your terror quite a bit. One vision of heaven. Watch a cricket match. Ooh, that did a good number on our terror. Visit the allotments. Another uncanny specimen. Watch a cricket match. <laughs> More terror reduction. I mean, I'm spending my welcome, which comes from uh, from Salon Stewed Gossip, or from Caddies of Dry Tea, if you manage to get those. Um, so I don't feel too bad about, like, just kind of grinding this. Like I do at the circus, where I feel bad doing the visit the amusements thing. Because that reduces my terror by 10%. And it's totally, completely free to get the tickets because of how I helped them. Which I guess in some way makes it sort of fair, but I still don't like it. But this feels fair, because I really am wearing out my welcome. And only some of these actually reduce my terror. Got a lot of uncanny specimens. Here we go, sit with the eel fishers. 41 down to... Oh. 36. And I'm no longer welcome. Right, I forgot this place gives you diminishing returns, depending on how high your terror is. I guess we're at the point where they won't help us that much. Let's share some more... Let's share some more gossip. Yeah, I've got 11... Salon Stude Gossip. We're up to six. Six Welcome, that is. Eight. I'll leave it at eight. Eight of both. Eight Welcome and eight Gossip. Do I want to go mining at the ruins? What are my chances? 90%. That's awfully good. Or 7% chance of enjoying the picturesque surroundings. Yeah. Yeah, my heart's rating, huh? One plus two. Terrible. Let's do nocturnal invest uh, excavation. Partial success. You wait until the lights in the cottage have all gone out before you begin your starlit work. Your crew quietly clear the mossy rubble and set to prying one of the vast stones from its setting. Suddenly your lookout hisses a warning. Someone's coming. Capture them and continue your plunder. You may lose additional welcome. Ooh, yeah, that'd be bad. Flee or hurry. You'll lose a crew. You will not retrieve any souls. Let's just flee. It's fine. It didn't work out. We got a tale of terror. Wearing out our welcome a little bit. Swiftly you gather your tools and hurry back to your engine. No richer except for a tale of a narrow escape. The villagers will notice someone was digging at the ruins, but they have no reason to be more suspicious of you than usual. Okay, that's good. Back to New Winchester. My terror is blissfully low, back in New Winchester. Let's fill up with crew. Um, I need four. This gives me three or four, that gives me four or eight. Um, I'll just hire a few, because it's cheaper. Because, like, I don't need to have exactly 16, it's fine. Got three. Any new prospects? Yes, literature for Trader's Wood, flowers for Titania. New prospects available in 30 days, which means these just popped up. I don't think I have that much literature, but I have some. Flowers I can certainly do. They're not worth much. The sacks of verdant seeds, but something. Let's go bank all this wood. Yeah, this is a lot of bronze wood. That's worth a lot of money. Oh, hey! Exploring the city. Attend the grand premiere. Madame Lumiere has wasted no time in organizing her premiere to express her gratitude she's given you tickets. Awesome, let's do it. Madame Lumiere has reopened a theater beneath the arches of the Bishop Bridge. Prominent tacketies sit with London sympathizers. They formed a brief truce, united in their loathing of the cramped velvet seats. A light flares on the plaster wall. The film begins. 
The film is titled The Concupiscence of the Verdance. Flickering images on painted lenses jerk across the wall. The camera luxuriates in the collapsing brown flesh of a fruiting fungus. The flight of a sporing body, the sudden bursting of a violet fungal sac, the prolonged death spasms of a cameraman. Ugh. There are gasps from the audience. What the fuck? Prolonged death spasms of a cameraman? They filmed that? That's... Ew. Um, I want to look up this word. Concupiscence. Concupiscence. Um, means strong sexual desire, lust. Synonyms, lustfulness, sexual appetite, sexual longing, yeah. Strong sexual desire, so wait, so in, in context. Concupiscence of the verdants, so sexual desire of the verdants. Okay. Take in the detail, admire the wider picture, or close your eyes. Let's look at the descriptions. For taking the detail, Lumiere has an exacting eye. Some of the shots are blemished, but what has been captured reveals much about the Reach's flora. This work is worth careful attention. Admire the wider picture. If you avoid looking at the foreground, there is much to appreciate. The film strip has been painted to reveal the lush colors of the landscapes, the violent purple of the fungus. There is an awful beauty to the whole thing. Or close your eyes. If you put your hands over your eyes, you could almost consider this a relaxing interlude. <laughs> hmm. Let's admire the wider picture. It's difficult to entirely ignore the energetic and occasionally traumatic activities occurring in the foreground of every shot, but you persevere. Lumiere catches up with you as you're leaving. I don't know why everyone hurried away. Anyway, I'm venturing into new territories. Meet me later if you like. I would love to. Gain a vision of the heavens. Let's meet them. They've promised a meeting. She's currently occupying one of New Winchester's cafes. She's provided the table number. A life's work. She rings for two cups of nectar-infused tea. I crave the stuff, she says, a smile creasing her face like a well-used cushion. I'm too old to be lugging cameras about anymore, waiting for the perfect shot. My own fault. I could have stayed in London, but I wanted to see the stars. Thanks for helping me home. This is where I'll stay now, I think. She coughs into a yellow-stained handkerchief. Time to fund films rather than make them, I think. The coughing worsens. Please excuse me. She leaves you with a hurried goodbye. And the bill. Madame Lumiere has retired. From filming, at least. Gained 500 experience. I feel like doing a prospect. So I'm going to do the 5 sacks of verdant seeds for Titania. I already had 10 sacks in my bank. So just, just taking 5 with me, along with a bunch of fuel and supplies that I purchased. Because I'm running pretty low on money. I know I could just, like, sell the wood that I have, but I, I want to keep that if I can. All that stuff in my bank, in case of prospects. So, let's head to Titania, and um, the circus is pretty close to being along the way, so let's actually go there first as well. At the circus now, let's collect our free tickets. Got 16 in total, let's write a port report. Let's, um, yeah, let's visit the amusements. Down to 3%. And I can also speak with the new arrivals, which should put me down to zero. They also have a bargain available, barrels of unseasoned hours. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much hold space because I just bought a shit ton of fuel and supplies, but I'll take what I can. And off to Titania. At Titania now, let's write a poor report. And sell the sacks of verdant seeds. 400 profit. Yeah, not amazing, but pretty good. Especially when I'm this slow on money. That should do it, the florid landscapist declares. 
She stores the sacks carefully away from any source of water, for the floor of the Reach is dangerously ebullient when nourished. Impeccable service, please accept this additional compensation. I think I've read that before. Ooh, they got munitions available. Now I've got room for that. Got room for all the bargains. Throw more bargains at me, come on. Decided to head up to the nature reserve from Titania, because it's pretty close, and I feel like there's probably some stuff I can do here. Although I'm not 100% sure. Let's gather a port report. If nothing else, it's probably worth it just for the port report. But then remember, we also have that special deal set up with exporting sapling knots, which weirdly enough is not an actual item that I get, but just means I get some extra money when I go back to New Winchester. Yep, deliver them to New Winchester. Join a hunting party. What? What's this about again? Explore the nature reserve on your own. Let's do that rather than joining the party. 8% terror. Down to 0%. We've already read this, right? Yeah. It doesn't even try to steal your scones. Alright, let's see if there's some research-related things to do. Like, have I gotten anything that they need for research? Like, what do you need? What about your completed research? How you doing? The table's covered with thick grass growing rapidly. His colleagues are celebrating vigorously, more so even than last time. A scout is singing loudly, if tunelessly. Another is stomping through the room in some kind of dance. Witness the culmination of their efforts. The phlegmatic researcher smiles uneasily. He's delighted and unsettled by the exuberance of the celebrations. Oh, that's right. I think last time I came here, I gave them something that they needed to research, and then they said, come back in a little bit when I've completed the research. So this is the completion. The Reach contains certain growth-encouraging airs, which I acquired. Captains call it the Peacock Wind. I call it the Breath of God. The phlegmatic researcher strikes the table with his cane. And this is what we've accomplished. A fertilizer so potent, it'll grow whatever you seed into it. It costs a fortune to make, but it's still a tremendous step forward. He glances warily at the singing scout, whose voice is growing hoarse. I don't know what's gotten into them, although I suppose it is a remarkable discovery. Savage Secret got 20 of them. <laughs> Vision of the Heavens experience. So, yes, what do you need? One of the following. Pen of a scribe spinster. Ligaments of a guest. What's a guest? That's an ominous name. Traitor's Wood Mandrake. Oh, well, I'll be going back there, I'm sure. Ice from Old Tom's Well. That's somewhere I also want to go, of course. I still want to find the well for the incautious driver's quest. Yeah, and I don't need to get a quest, right? Oh, um, the biological infestation known commonly as guests are in fact multiple organisms. Ugh, guests. Ice from Tom's well. But from whence does it come? What call has the ice to freeze in a place otherwise so warm? I think that's all we can do here at the moment, but there's something very nice that they have as a bargain. Five ministry approved literature, which again, I desperately need because I don't know of any port that actually exports this, so I can only get it in bargains. And I have, once again, two prospects for it. Five for Trader's Wood and five for the circus. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And when I return... I'm going to once again resume the search for Old Tom's Well so we can continue the Incautious Driver's quest. It should be north-northeast of New Winchester, which I tried to explore a while ago when we came across this horror up here. And uh, I think I ended up having too much terror or my ship was in too poor of a condition to continue. So I want to go back up here and I'm guessing Old Tom's Well being north-northeast is probably here.